If you use Audacity to record your podcast, your voiceovers, or your audiobooks, and you struggle with how to reduce or eliminate altogether loud breathing, you need to watch this video. Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Audacity Training. You know, Taming our breathing is something that we all struggle with. None of us wants to hear a loud breaths. I'm a loud breather. I don't know if I have extra lung capacity. I don't know. But uh, uh, loud breathing is something that I've always struggled with, and I've had to learn methods of taming that while I'm recording. But once in a while, some of that loud breathing gets through. It gets through into my recording, and it gets kind of frustrating. I'm going to show you a method using two effects, punch copy and punch paste. And I'm going to show you how you can reduce or eliminate those loud breathing areas within your recording. So let's get started. Look at this screen that I have open here. I recorded this audio a few minutes ago. Right in this area here, there's a normal breath. In this area here, there's a little bit of a louder breath. And then here at the end, there's a big gulp of air. So Let's, let's play it through this. I recorded a couple of seconds of audio at the beginning just so we'd have a reference for some room tone if we need it. But I'm going to put the cursor here. I'm going to click once on my timeline. And let's listen through this. It's short and sweet. There's a few seconds of room tone as I start this test. Now while I'm talking, I'm going to take a normal breath. There's a normal breath. And now I'm going to take a little bit louder breath. Okay, and now I'm going to get real excited, and I'm going to take a really big breath. And let's see what we can do with this stuff, shall we? Yes, let's definitely see what we can do with, with this stuff here. So we've got a normal breath, we've got a little bit louder breath, and then we've got an extremely loud breath. I can't use regular copy-paste because whatever I copy, if I, for example, if I come in here and I copy this much audio, and then I go down here to paste it, it's going to paste that much audio. In other words, it's going to move everything later. It's going to move it downstream uh, by however much I copied. So copy-paste won't work in this situation unless you can be real exact with it. Otherwise, it breaks up the cadence of your audio, and we don't want that. So let's use punch copy-paste instead. If you don't have punch copy-paste in your version of Audacity, I'll put a link below to the Audacity Team website where you can pick up those two plugins and install them on your version of Audacity. So let's take a look at this. First of all, let's select through our normal breathing here and let's see what we picked up here. That's pretty good. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer here. Kind of get the tail end of the breath a little bit better. Okay, I think that's good. Now we're going to come up here to the effect drop down window. And if I've got mine uh, separated by category. If you don't, you've probably got one big long list of uh, effects. What we're looking for is punch, copy, paste, and punch, paste. And if you've organized them by category, they're going to be in the NA category. I don't know if that means not available or not accessible or, you know, what it exactly means, but. Uh, that's where they are when you when you put your effects into different categories. So I'm going to come to Punch, Copy, Paste, and it opens up this window for us. Now, when this window is opened up, the only changes that I've made in this are on this window here that says Copy, because I want it to copy, and I want to copy and replace what I'm uh, replacing in just a moment here. And then I keep Paste only once also in there, because typically that's all I want to do. So I'm going to click Apply, and it's going to tell me how much I've got selected here. And in this case, I don't have very much selected. I'm just going to tell it OK. And now what I can do is I can come over here to this loud breath right here. And it doesn't have to be the same size. The length of time that I copy doesn't have to match the length of the time that I'm pasting. So let's come back up here to the Effect drop-down window, down to NA, and let's do Punch Paste. And when I do, you see that that breath disappeared. Now if I play through this one,
That's much better. By the way, I forgot to mention, you might want to have headphones on. Now let's come back uh, toward the beginning of this. Let's go right into this area right here. Let's play through this and listen to the difference now that that loud breath is gone and that we've replaced it with a normal breath. Okay, and now I'm going to get real excited and I'm going to take a really big breath. And let's see what we can do. So just like that, I've eliminated that loud breathing section. I put a normal breath in it. I can do the same thing with room tone. If I want to just grab some room tone, I don't want any breathing in it at all, just room tone, I can do the same thing. I could go back, in this case, to the beginning of that file, to the beginning of that waveform, and just copy some good room tone. Let's try one more thing while I've got you. Let's come through and let's select this area right here with a little bit louder breath. And let's come up to our effect drop-down window. And this time I'm going to go to repeat, punch, paste. You can see that I have a shortcut there of, of command R for repeating. If you're in Windows, you can put control R if it's not already there, which I think it is. I think that's a system thing. But if I click on repeat, punch, paste, it's going to take that same good breath and it's going to put it over this one. So let's try it. And just like that, I've got two good breaths now within my file. Let's go back to the very beginning here and listen. There's a few seconds of room tone as I start this test. Now while I'm talking, I'm going to take a normal breath. There's a normal breath, and now I'm going to take a little bit louder breath. Okay, and now I'm going to get real excited, and I'm going to take a really big breath. And let's see what we can do with this stuff, shall we? So do you see what happened there? We had two breaths that we didn't like in there. We copied the first breath, which was okay, and then we did a punch, copy, paste over those loud breath spots, and it took care of them. It put our normal breathing where the loud breathing was. Again, there's no substitute for learning good breathing techniques. There's also no lack of good videos here on YouTube that will show you how to do that. But it's a matter of training ourselves to be able to do it. It's a matter of being aware of how to breathe while I'm talking. And that eliminates most of our loud breaths, but not all of them, because they still do sneak through. By using punch, copy, and punch, paste is one way to reduce or eliminate those loud breaths within our recording. So I hope that you benefited from this. I hope that it gives you a little more confidence in your editing and that it adds to your skill set as you record and edit audio within Audacity. So I'll see you in the next video.